Well, welcome Calvary family to uh, this podcast of Calvary Connections. I'm here in Colorado with my cousin Mark. And uh, welcome Mark to uh, be a guest on our podcast. Uh, and uh, greetings to everyone back in Bemidji. Um, just a reminder that our three goals on sabbatical and this journey that we're taking together are reflect well, be well, and explore well which hopefully leads to leading well as we lead our servants in God's kingdom. And um, my cousin Mark has been living in Colorado for a few years, but we go way back. And um, I guess we'll start this podcast off by just asking, um, cousin, what's one of you, the first memories uh, that you have with me? My absolute first memory of Janelle was June 8th, 1974, when my wife Kay and I were married, and Janelle's mother, my cousin Claudia, carried Janelle into the sanctuary to see us be married and then uh, attend the reception afterwards. And I'll tell you a little bit later about what the significance of that was with Janelle. That's great. What I learned at that moment, let me say it that way. <laughs> Um, reflecting well back is one of the things we're doing just to remember um, how God has connected us and and knit us together um, even though we've never lived really close to one another um, uh, we've always had this connection so um, Mark was at my tennis matches in high school and um, we, we crossed paths in um, Boston when I was on internship in, in Atlanta Char was even with us when we Got to visit Mark and Kay down there, and now in Colorado as I travel around um, the mountains behind us. We've been hiking and exploring too, and doing some some things out here. So creating more and more memories that in, in years ahead we'll be able to reflect back on. And for sure. and uh, my kids being out here too for the first time and great. Um, so um, Mark, one of the other goals that we have, and you can weave all these together, is be well. And um, we've been eating well out here. Kay's a phenomenal cook. Mark's a great griller. Um, we've had great uh, time around food and, and hiking and being outside and getting some fresh air. And um, we also have these be well goals at church, trying to figure out what God's calling us to be and in doing and doing that well. What have you discovered in your life, faith life, professional life, about the importance of having wellness goals, be well goals? Sure. Uh my sense of our lives is that each of us is put here uh, to become full and complete and that fullness and that completeness involves all aspects of our life and that when I you know when I encounter somebody who is uh, attends to the different aspects of their life what I see is uh, a joy a sense of commit uh, con connectedness mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm not exactly sure how I want to refer to this, but I, I think what it seems to reflect is the, the goodness and the grace that is bestowed on each of us actually being manifest through our actions, our words, our thoughts, and the way we interact with others. So to me, that's be well. And I think that's you know, if there was an additional commandment, that might be the, one of yeah. the commandments that God gives us. I like that. I like how individual that is, as well as communal that is. And that, again, that's one of our goals as a Calvary community, um, to do that an individual goal and also on a communal goal. So that's really helpful. I think that's good imagery we can take along with us on our journey. Um, explore well. Uh, we are cut out of the same cloth, uh, have an adventurous spirit, um, uh, love humor. Um, we're quick-witted. We, we love to be in conversation and really process the world. But tell me about um, exploring well. What, 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 what's been some of your exploration both in life and faith? And what's that looked like? Yeah. Um, well, one of the metaphors that, uh, early on that I accepted in my life was that uh, God had put me on a path and that my job was to walk that path. And what I've found is that as I walk that path in faith, that every once in a while, or actually more often than not, I get off the path. And that when I get off the path, things get a little 
uh, discombobulated in yeah. my life and that I've learned that that's a sign to recalibrate and get back on the path that I'm supposed to be walking. Now, yeah. that path and that exploration is uh, to understand who I am, what my purpose is, and how that purpose plays out in serving other people and serving the Lord. And uh, so in the metaphor of walking a path, what I've found, and Janelle's a good example of this, is that as I'm walking my path, other people's path intersects with mine. And sometimes those intersections, we walk together. Sometimes we walk together, in the case of Janelle and myself, we walk together for decades, for many, many years. Sometimes it's just brief encounters. Yeah. But I've tried to, uh, uh, using that metaphor, I've tried to recognize that sometimes people enter my life and my job is to be the teacher. Oftentimes, the people I think I'm being a teacher to end up being my teacher. Yeah. And uh, if I pay attention to what's going on, I see the handiwork of, uh, of the Lord. I, I feel the uh, Holy Spirit sometimes as my tailwind, sometimes as pulling me forward. Yeah. Okay, But all in all, I realized that it was the path I was put on and that my exploration is defined by that path that I'm walking. Yeah. I think another thing that um, uh, we've been talking here about uh, how important we feel like each other is in our, our lives. And sometimes we're teacher, sometimes we're learner, sometimes we're student to one another and to, to the people in our family. But um, really understanding that some of our path has been the commonality of being hikers. Um, we're kind of on an exploration. Um, we see life as, as both a joy and a challenge, and we, we welcome that. Um, and and we, we, we don't camp. Uh, we don't settle. Um, uh, you know, we're always kind of open to what the spirit might be up to, and it's been fun to have somebody just um, uh, just a few years ahead of me in this journey uh, to, to take notes and, and share notes and, and share life with. And some of that exploration has been just a joy to explore together. And I know as a congregation, we're trying to decide this too. What's next for us? Um, if we've experienced a social unrest, political unrest, um, COVID, a global pandemic, and and really how are we gonna land on our feet back on the trail? What's that gonna look like? And I think again, finding people who can walk beside us, encourage us, equip us, point us, um, uh, part of that partnership, reconnecting in the community of faith is going to be a key role. So listen very carefully what, the Janelle, what Janelle has just been saying because um, I think part of our purpose, part of our existence is that it's dynamic, mm -hmm. that we weren't put here to be stationary and have the world revolve around us. We were put here to, to move to, and to grow yeah. and to explore. And those explorations can take all different realms of things. And those of you who uh, have had the benefit of hanging with Janelle understand the breadth of the areas that she's explored and the hunger and thirst that she has to learn new things. And I think that uh, does uh, great uh, honor, if you would, to our, to our Lord and our Savior and our faith. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Um, other, other stories, sharings that you want to, to bless this congregation and me with today? About you? Well. Yes. Okay, um, so my first memory, as I said, of Janelle was she was this little bundle <laughs> and it, it carried in her mom's arms. Mm -hmm. And at that time, you know, it was the first time I met her and she had appeared. And what I've noticed is over the 48 or so years that we've been together, that she has a way of kind of coming in and out of my life and that each time she shows up just like the very first time she showed up she was this bundle of uh, bright joyful energy and uh, and that I'm every time she shows up I uh, am better for having her presence in my life and I, at first I didn't know quite how to describe this and I, I imagine that many of you have tried to figure out how to explain this and and the way I've mostly think of Janelle as as like is like a uh, 
uh, you know, Jesus talks about he is the light. I don't want to quite go that far. But what I would say is that Janelle is a light. Mm -hmm. And she has a way of when the times are dark of having her light shine brighter and serving as a guide and so on. And that's certainly been the case for me. One little story is there was a time when Janelle was out here and we were hiking. And where we hike, it's oftentimes gets to be very social and we meet people. And I noticed that as we were hiking along, huffing and puffing up the hill, Janelle was saying hi to people and where are you from and, and so on. And I noticed this, that as she did that, they kind of stood up a little straighter, they hiked a little stronger, and that, that little exchange of friendliness uh, is, I think, one of the ways that we're supposed to live, okay? And if you, again, if you know Janelle, you've seen this, and it's a, it's a wonderful gift, and I'm so happy that she shares it with me. And when she shows up, I usually have to rest up two or three days before she gets here, and about a day or two afterwards, just from all the energy that we, uh, we expend while we're together. And we share together. And we share a lot, yeah. a lot. Oh, we share a lot. So a lot. Those are great stories, great reflections, great insights, I think, into purpose and being and relationship. And um, what a joy to be out here in Colorado. You can see the mountains behind us. Um, and uh, to reflect together, to be well together and explore together. And um, may God continue to bless us on this journey as a congregation. So. Thanks for tuning in to this podcast out here in Colorado with my cousin Mark. Uh, see you next time.